right, folks, we are back live on this Tuesday edition. It is the 15th day. 17th day. He wore his gun outside his pants. Of December 2013. And coming up in the next segment, I am going to detail all of the facts here on Earth and here on this planet dealing with our soils. Because when you see a story out there, I knew yesterday when I saw this on the news at about 3 o'clock what they would put in the study. And then I looked at it last night, and then I looked at it again this morning. And as soon as I read their statements, I knew what they were going to say. Because it's a playbook put out by Big Pharma. And I've debated Dr. Dina Dell, who pushes this. I've debated others over the years. I challenge them to debate now. They will not come on because they know I will clean their clock. In about 60 seconds before the show, I told the guys to print just a couple articles that I'm going to show you now. And then the next segment I'm going to go into in detail with a report for you. Here is the article out of CBS News, one of literally thousands right now in every media outlet pushing the hoax, multivitamin researchers say cases closed after studies find no health benefits. And what did I highlight right there? We believe, notice they said we believe that the case is closed. You also believe that leprechauns are real probably. We believe that the case is closed, and he, he goes on to add, supplementing the diet of well-nourished adults with most mineral or vitamin supplements has no clear benefit. Listen to all these provisos and might even be harmful. Now, we're going to break down the fraud when we come back. But let me explain something here. This is premeditated. See, I've dealt with this for so long. I know what they say and what they do. If you go on and do research, you learn that the FDA has continued to lower the minimum daily allowance of what they say you need of vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. I want to get Dr. Mercola on about this later this week if we can get him on. Or Dr. Blaylock, all these medical doctors. I get nutritionists on all day long. They have lowered the level of vitamin C down to near scurvy inducing levels where you just start having rot holes in your skin and your skin basically falls apart and you prematurely age. How many people do you see who you talk to? A 50 year old woman looks like they're 100. You go, let me guess, do you ever eat fruits and vegetables? No, I don't. I eat at McDonald's. Ugh. I mean, that's why they literally all have rot holes in their arms. They have scurvy. I've talked to the nutritionist. They get on vitamin C in a month. It's the, the holes in their arms are all healed. We've had medical doctors tell people that we know, like Ted Anderson's dad, get off vitamin C. And then his Alzheimer's and scurvy comes back. Of course, your brain shuts down with no vitamin C. They knew this 400 years ago in England. That's why they called British sailors limeys because they carry big bags of key limes with them and nobody else did. And when a British ship pulled up, one of their best kept secrets, when a British ship pulled up, they had all had vitamin C, and the people that were fighting hadn't. And, and whether it was Spanish or Portuguese or French or whoever around the world, they couldn't even lift a sword to fight them. And, and of course, the British sailors didn't like the taste of it either, so they put it in their rum, one part rum, two parts water, their, their grog, as it was called, to make them drink it. So, yeah, you don't need more limes, more vitamin C, if you're getting a good dose of it. But the problem is they've lowered it down to nothing. I'm going to break it all down and recap it because I, I got so mad during the break. I could hardly talk when I came in. I was bumbling around. I'm going to come back in a focused laser beam fashion and break down this hoax for you. Now, obviously, they want to ship your jobs to China. They want to shut down your power plants. They want to break down the family. They want to say two plus two equals five to kids. They want to say parents aren't parents anymore. Everything they do is meant to debilitate you so they can dominate you. Now they say you don't need vitamins and minerals. And we have the clip where they say mercury is good for children's brains. They are lying scum. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show.
You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. I remember two years ago they had uh, national news stories, literally thousands of newspapers carrying uh, the articles, debunking the fact that there was a plan to roll out drones to surveil the American people. And they said that we were liars and that it wasn't real. And that's because they didn't want a national movement forming against surveillance drones before they rolled out officially. We, of course, were covering the FAA, preparing to authorize 30,000 drones in the sky by 2020, 10,000 or more drones by 2015. We were just covering a government policy and that they were already using them for surveillance and showing examples. And so they came out and said it did not exist. Now, two years later, they admit it's been going on and they're throwing it in your face. Just like they said they didn't buy 1.6 billion bullets, now 2.2 billion, now 2.5 billion. Now they suddenly admit, oh, we did do that. And we are buying armored vehicles from the army. And we are deploying them against you. And oh, we are spying on you with NSA. And oh, we are funding Al Qaeda overseas. And oh, we are shipping General Motors to China with your tax money. And we are getting ready to take your private bank accounts and take your public and private pension funds. And we are devaluing the dollar. And the Federal Reserve is private. And that's because Congress has a 6% approval rating and they know the lies aren't working anymore. So in a lot of areas, they admit what they're doing but try to hide it in plain view and act like it's no big deal. It'd be like someone passing gas on you with a particularly nauseous odor and telling you that, oh, do you like the new uh, air freshener? That's what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, yesterday they roll out with a huge PR blitz that vitamins and minerals do nothing and basically the case is closed. And on CNN, CBS, ABC, Fox, MSNBC, everything, my local paper has it in there, uh, national papers, just everywhere, case closed, you don't need any vitamins, any minerals, any supplements, because Big Pharma is mad and has already basically banned them in Europe, or you've got to pay upwards of $100 to get vitamin C in the same strength here. They've lowered the daily allowance of what you need, the government says, of things like vitamin C and things like oil of oregano down to a level that literally is at starvation, according to the medical doctors we've interviewed here. And they keep lowering them and lowering them and lowering them and dumping the deadly halogen fluoride into the water that is bug poison. Now, before I get to this article, I want to show you McCormick salt you can buy at any grocery store in the country. And if you're watching on TV, you can look at this or just go to the local supermarket and go look at any major salt that, that isn't naturally occurring. The natural ones have good iodine and other trace minerals and elements in them. It says this salt does not supply iodine a necessary nutrient. Says it right, And why is that? Because the feds pressured them in the 20s to put iodine in the salt because of literally millions of people being born mentally retarded from not having iodine in the womb, which is on record, will cause all sorts of problems, and lower IQs after birth, and goiter, that's people that look like their job of the hut with just huge things hanging under their necks, uh, where you look like a human worm. Africa's devastated by this. China's devastated by it. China, in many areas, puts iodine in the water, so this doesn't happen, because it's just a plague of, of, of diseases and degenerative problems. Now, that's a fact. The feds by the 70s basically said, remove it or we'll come after you. Remove iodine out of the salt. Isn't that loving of them? Because this is the good halogen. Now, <clears throat> that said, they have to t tell you. I guess McCormick cares and wants to say, hey, by the way, we don't have something you really need in here. Used to be putting the bread. Now they put bromine in there. Totally deadly. All the bad halogens are pushed. They give you cancer. Mentally retarded. You don't need them. They're bad for you. The good ones are removed across the board. Now, let's move to the big announcement. Multivitamin researchers say case is closed after studies find no health benefits. The message from doctors behind three new studies and an editorial noticed that all came out together that tacked an oft-debated question in medicine. 
Do daily multivitamins make you healthier? After reviewing the available evidence and conducting new trials, the authors have come to a conclusion of no. We believe the case is closed. Supplementing the diet of well-nourished adults with most, that's key word, mineral and vitamin supplements has no clear benefit and might even be harmful. So see, that's the same line that Dr. Dina Dell, who I've debated, puts out. But then I would have him on and I'd go, doctor, medical doctor, what if you're not getting enough of the trace elements and minerals and vitamins you need? Oh, well, then you do need it. I went, oh, and how many diseases and disorders in the womb and after are linked to nutrition? Well, a lot of them, but we don't really look at that. That's right. Medical doctors don't deal with that now. If you come in with your skin rotting off and holes all over your body, they don't say, oh, my God, that's scurvy. You need more vitamin C. And they're like, I don't eat no vegetables or I don't like them. They don't tell you that. They just saw your arm off. That's what they do. The worst nutrition in major studies is in hospitals. Now, let's shift gears. Before I go any further, let's play a clip from the Journal of Pediatrics, the big prestigious Journal of Pediatrics. They put out two new studies eight years ago on the same day and the same way it rolled out saying, guess what? Mercury is actually good for you. And again, we're going to put it on screen, the Journal of Pediatrics for folks, so they can go to the website and see what it is and actually read these studies where they said that mercury is good for your brain. Now let's go ahead and go to this clip that aired not just on CBS, but nationwide at the time, saying mercury is good for you. Folks, mercury is the most destructive chemical, the most destructive metal in the brain electrochemically. It's incredible. Uh, here's the clip. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Okay, so there you go. They have these studies that mercury is good for your child's brain, ladies and gentlemen. Now, and for them, being brain damaged and slobbering, and doing whatever you're told, that is improved mental performance. Because they teach in public schools, 2 plus 2 equals 5 worldwide. The literal benchmark of 1984 is, if you can say 2 plus 2 equals 4, you are free. And that seemed like satire at the time. Now I understand he was, well, he was a deep globalist on record. Eric Blair was, a.k.a. Uh, George Arwell. And it just hits me of the magnitude of this, that they teach 2 plus 2 equals 5, and they put brain-damaging fluoride in the water, mercury in the vaccines, and tell you it's good for you, even though the Harvard study says lowers IQ. So let me show you some of the articles. Let me show you the facts. Number one, dirt poor. This is the Scientific American, because you get some good studies out there. Dirt poor. Have fruits and vegetables become less nutritious? And they go on to break down major studies going back in the last 100 years from the University of Texas at Austin Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition and Agriculture Nutritional Data from 1950 to 1999 with 43 different fruits and vegetables and then looking at studies before that and what is in them metrically by numbers, real studies, they are debilitated in some cases by 98% vitamins, minerals, trace elements. And then they give them a three- nutrient-based system for the plants in the fertilizers when there really needs to be more than 80 in there. 90 is the you know, mighty 90 is what a lot of the doctors break down. So you're getting three things out of a plant when you need 90. I'm going to say that again. You're getting three things out of a plant when you need 90. But mainline medical science says you need 60-something. Okay, so so let's go over this now. That's Scientific American. So, so they're saying, oh, if you've got a nutritious diet, you don't need anything. And absolutely right. If you're eating a really diverse thing in the jungle of, say, Brazil or something and had all these wide spectrum fruits, vegetables, plants, animals, you name it, you, and fish, you would not need vitamins and minerals. And absolutely fresh is the way to get things. Absolutely. Now, let's move on to the next one. Here's another one. 1936 U.S. Senate report, soil depleted 99% of America's nutrient deficient. That's a 1936 U.S. Senate report, and they recommended putting vitamins and minerals 
compulsorily inbred and in salt because of the brain damaging of the American people. The reason people aren't as smart as they used to be, folks, physically, is we're brain damaged from this, okay? And they don't want you. Now, in the back then, the government said, put this in salt. Give them vitamins, minerals. We're to... And then the globalists got control by the 40s and 50s, and they took it all out, folks. Okay, and now they're telling you, don't go out and get it on your own, because if you get it on your own, that's it for them. Now, let's continue here. Mike Adams has a great report from naturalnews.com up on infowars.com. MSM attacks multivitamins, yet another example of quack science. He breaks down a bunch of other angles I haven't even gotten to. Here's another one. Glaxo says it will stop paying doctors to promote drugs. They do that every year. They pay medical doctors across the board to push drugs and not nutrition. They're even getting rid of surgery now when you might need it and just saying drugs. Now, let's continue here. Oh, Financial Times, exercise to tackle bad posture can avert back surgery, but the hospitals won't tell you there's exercises that would cost you nothing to not have to have the surgery for the disc about to be fused or herniated. They won't tell you because they want the surgery. Same deal. Oh, here's another one. How adding iodine to salt resulted in a decade's worth of IQ gains for the United States. Links to the major university studies dealing with it. Okay, so I've gone over some of that for you. Anthony Gucciardi is coming in now just to cover a few of the angles. And obviously, I promote and sell vitamins and minerals that I've used, that I believe in, that have done wonders in my life. And everybody that's used them, you've heard the calls, not one negative call on our proprietary nascent iodine. It's blowing people away. Of course it is. The coffee, Chiapas. My favorite coffee, people are going, wow, this is really incredibly good coffee at a low price. Alex, you didn't BS us. Yeah, I'm not going to, if I was a wine producer, which is really hard to do, obviously. Say I lived in Northern California in, in Sonoma County or something, some of the best wine in the country. I think it's as good as French wine. I wouldn't put wine out unless it was really good. I'd throw it away. Same deal. I'm going to promote what I use, what I think's bombshell. And that's how we fund ourselves, not taxpayer funded or government protected like Big Pharma or NPR or MSNBC. But the point here is, folks, it's a fact that you can't get the nutrients you need from almost all the food on the store shelves. It's a fact that it's been life changing for me taking high density minerals and vitamins. And then the iodine was just the turbocharger. And I told you, don't buy our iodine. Get the gourmet sea salts, Himalayans, double check. Make sure they have the iodine in it. It's not unbound, but it's better than nothing. It'll do wonders for you. Bottom line, they don't want you knowing this, folks. They don't want you understanding this. That's why people are zombies. Anthony Gucciardi, this has really gotten me angry. They say mercury's good for kids, brains. And then now they say we don't need vitamins or minerals. But notice, if we don't have malnutrition, we don't need it. Well, no what, Sherlock? No kidding. Obviously, if you had a perfect diet, you wouldn't need this. But the diet we have is crap. So they're playing a semantical mind game, and they use synthetic garbage stuff in the study. That's the key. This goes beyond a hoax. This meta-analysis and these studies are beyond hoax, 100% deceptive. In fact, I'm going to prove on air right now how they actually demonstrate everything that we're saying is right. And that GMOs are bad, synthetics are bad, <clears throat> and that overall an organic approach is the best and the only way. Now, specifically, to, to understand this, around this time every year, they attack supplements and specifically vitamins, and they also attack... Because the New Year's coming up. They don't want the, it to keep growing, people getting healthy and learning how to fight back. The organic food industry and the supplement industry, the natural products industry, are the only two things right now that are really going up. And Big Pharma absolutely hates this. Now, I wrote an article in... Only part of American economy left. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> it's actually, a lot of it's made in the United States, almost all of it, 99%. Besides the Chinese crap ones, which are the ones they're studying, coincidentally. Now, in 2011, on December 27th, I wrote this article because every single time in December and January, they attack natural products. And I wrote this article, Why Many Vitamin Studies Are Absolutely Worthless. And this was on Natural Society, my natural health website. And I talked about specifically how they were going to come about this and attack natural products using synthetics and then claim it's the same as the other ones. So, for example... It reads, the synthetic version of vitamin E is a petrochemically derived analog of natural vitamin E, which it is, that is capable of dis disrupting the endocrine system, endoc uh, endocrine system where the natural form of vitamin D is effective against aging, oxidative stress, and hundreds of other conditions. So you have vitamin D. You have the synthetic form 
that's actually destroying your body and is linked to birth defects. And then the organic form from the food, which is actually linked to preventing aging and oxygen. So it's a total hoax. They bring in the chemical produced petrochemical vitamins and minerals, blame it on us, and then put out a hoax. They literally ship in the petrochemical synthetic vitamins from China and give it to people. And then they say, oh, nothing happened. Or actually, oh, it actually damaged the lungs. And then they say, vitamin E is bad. It's kind of like if I were to have an organic banana, but then I was to get an, orga uh, an organic or just a regular banana shipped in from Fukushima and ate the banana and it gave me radiation poisoning and said, bananas are bad, they kill people. It's well, they do the same thing saying aspartame is safe because it's similar to what's in an orange with that type of sugar, but it's not. It's actually completely different, just similar in the molecule, and then they hoax people. Well, it's funny you say that. The leading children's vitamin contains aspartame, cupric acid, zinc oxide, sorbitol, hydrogenate oil, and GMO corn on record. Let me see those articles. I'll show folks with document cam. Here we go. Here's the first page. All of these vitamins are containing GMOs. They're containing hydrogenated oils, uh, corn starches, zinc oxide, citric oxide, aspartame on record that's linked to peer-reviewed research says at least 40 adverse health effects, you know, brain tumors across the board. And that's what's in these vitamins, in the GMOs especially. So I'll tell you what this study proves. It proves that aspartame, GMO, and synthetic chemicals are bad. And we know, we've know we known that forever. We've got to shoot a special report on this and have it go mega viral because folks don't even know how to respond to this. They're just going, that's not true. Why do you lie? It's beyond lying. It's a giant fraud hoax using Fred Flintstone garbage, uh, you know, stuff from China. The Fred Fl like, let me see your other articles or we can flip the camera and show document cam over there. I mean, there's, there's tons of I've, I've things, but this is, that's not even getting to the real bottom line. Here's the bottom line. But beyond all the fact that these vitamins contain, aspart uh, contain aspartame, GMOs, and everything like that, every single time, uh, let's go back to 2012, again, around this time of September late, uh, early September, I wrote an article with Mike Adams of Natural News. It was posted on Natural Society and Natural News. It was a major article. We found, because I, I woke up in the morning and they were saying- Yeah, you had up the third largest health site out there. Yeah, they were saying organic food is the same as GMO food. And this guy from Stanford, a highly prestigious- I remember that. Yeah, it turns out this was the guy, he's called the father of statistical lies. He worked for Big Tobacco and helped uh, this company, the- Council of Tobacco Research firm, they paid off journalists $3 million in today's uh, money after adjusting for inflation to promote all this stuff that he did. And he said, he, he, there's a document from 1976 that we found that shows uh, financial ties between him and the guy that worked for Big Tobacco. And he proved, quote unquote, proved through statistical lying that cigarettes were perfectly safe and that tobacco was fine and that it didn't cause heart disease. This is absolutely this is bombshell. Nice. Stay there. We got to go to break. We got to do a special report on this. This is sensational, folks. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> My judge, <laughs> what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's one reason I tend to get madder and madder as a three hour show goes on each day. And that's because I'm looking at the federal, state, and university studies on the soils being 99% debilitated. I'm looking at the brain damage numbers in utero uh, of the uh, humans developing and then after. I'm waiting in the documentation. They're taking the good stuff out of the food and putting the bad stuff in it. Don't have iodine in the bread, put bromine in. I mean, bromide. I mean, this is homicidal evil. It's not our opinion. It's a fact. And then you've got people connected to big tobacco out saying, don't eat organic, it's the same as regular. They make the milk producers put on the thing when they say, we don't have any growth hormone in here. This hasn't been proven to cause a problem by the FDA. When you wonder why women are taller than men now and going into puberty when they're like seven years old. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are all in a giant Petri dish being experimented on. And then I've got the major journals here. The Senate Report, 1936, 99% of Americans nutrient deficient. Scientific America, dirt poor. Fruits and vegetables become less nutritious. Then it breaks down. University of Texas, total plunging. 
and it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. And then they put this report out. And it's pushed everywhere. That's what tells you it's a pure BS report. I mean, automatically, you're hearing about it everywhere. Oh, Jerry, you didn't need vitamins and minerals. They're actually bad for you. And then you find out it's a bunch of GMO, synthetic garbage they shipped in. You know, Searle that got bought by Monsanto that created aspartame. That's, you know, in so many thousands of products. A large portion of the rhesus monkeys in the 70s in one study died that had it added to their mother's milk. And so they just removed the ones that died from the study and said no monkeys got sick. They just removed the sick and dead monkeys. And I mean, this is the out of control bonker land. Because I was psychoanalyzing myself during the break. I was very angry during the break. And I saw the crew looking at me thinking, is he mad at us? And no, I am physically want to throw up. Anthony, they've got a document, Cam, over there. We're going to do a special report on the nightly news tonight that everybody's got to get out and have go viral, but this one as well. But this is going to be a concise, like, three-minute report where we laser beam it. Again, get into that article where they have the big tobacco people saying you don't need organic now. I mean, go over that. I mean, this is outrageous. So all of these are connected. This is a study back from 2012 where Dr. Ingram Olkin from Stanford University, his team of researchers, it turns out they were saying GMO is great. It's the same as organic. You know, everything's fine. You don't even need vitamins. And it turns out this guy was working with Big Tobacco, the Council for the, uh, the uh, Tobacco Research Industry, the Council of Tobacco Research, CTR. They were paying off journalists after adjusting for inflation. It's $3 million in today's dollars. And they were paying them saying, yeah, everything's fine. Just use Dr. Ingram's statistical lie. He's actually been called the chief statistical liar for Big Tobacco, the father of statistical lies. And he created a statistical algorithm which made anything he wanted happened. So if he did a study where 50 people out of 51, you know, got lung cancer from smoking cigarettes, he could make it so that, you know, there was no correlation. He would just remove the 50. Exactly. But it was very detailed and people couldn't crack it. And this is the same guy that says organic food's bad based on his statistics. So the, he's been at it and it gets deeper though. These guys, this whole wing of Stanford has deep ties to Cargill, which was a, the major, major food manufacturer that was supporting Monsanto and was against GMO labeling for Prop 37 in California. So they're getting money from these GMO juggernauts to say that organic food's bad. And then this all ties in because this time of year, they always attack organic foods and supplements. And if we dig deep on these three studies, the meta-analysis that came out today, I guarantee we'll find ties to GMO, uh, Cargill, and everything. Oh, we've already found them. You go dig. Get ready for the nightly news. Great job, Anthony Gucciardi. But this is just completely and totally outrageous that this is going on. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember... The revolution against tyranny is growing. Many anthropologists. Man, if you just joined us, I went from being in a really good mood again to being in a really nasty mood. Because we went over probably, I don't know, 15 different studies and articles looking at this big hoax study the sound saying that if you're getting proper nutrition you don't need vitamins and minerals that's like saying if you've gotten enough to eat you don't need to eat more or it's like saying if you're getting oxygen already you don't need oxygen and then they use synthetic vitamins from china in the study and it's the same crude you know that was telling us cigarettes are good for us the same scientists that are putting that out are now saying organic foods the same as regular it's like, ooh, grass-fed beef, how rare. Cows aren't supposed to eat awful.
That's what they call it, awful. The ground up dead cows, dogs, stuff from the pet. You know, you know, vets, a lot of vets sell, sell your dead animals. They get shipped off and rendered down and fed back to your animals. Uh, you look it up, you don't believe me. Uh, and what you will discover uh, upon uh, looking at that is they feed cows meat, ground up meat. They call it protein. Uh, and they also feed them uh, blood, blood meal. Uh, baby calves are not supposed to uh, drink blood. They mix it up, turn it into a liquid, or put it in their feed. And I know that's a big conspiracy theory. Maybe they have a study out. Baby cows that eat blood are just as good for you to eat or, or, or later to you know, get milk from when they're females than if they ate grass. It's like, man, listen to that weirdo. He says cows, cows eat grass and don't drink blood. Remember Mad Cow in England when they were taking rotten sheep and goats and cows and horses and grinding them all up and feeding it to cows? <laughs> and I've got to sit here and explain to people the madness of this. It makes my blood boil. Matt Dubiel, the breakdown Chicago land, is going to be popping in with us at the bottom of the hour. He uh, heads up our great affiliate in Chicago, 1530. And then we're going to have Larry Clayman uh, coming on, who got the big win against the NSA, pointing out that it is illegal what they're doing, obviously. A uh, great constitutional lawyer will be joining us. And then, of course, we also have uh, the head of the New American Magazine coming on to talk about the Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership that literally is global government being established. I mean, they've been building with these partnerships towards this, but this is definitely getting up close to the capstone. So that's coming up as well. I need to settle down, though. I need to settle down. <sighs> Maintain calm, maintain calm, and just move forward. But there is a total assault on every form of liberty, ladies and gentlemen. The globalists are coming in when states uh, and cities and counties pass laws uh, to not fluoridate their water. The feds are coming in and lobbying to get laws passed to make it mandatory as they put bug poison on our water supplies. And that just makes me, makes me very, very angry. Now, when we come back in the next... Long segment, I have a plethora of absolutely uh, vital news that we are going to be getting to in great detail. We're going to look at what's happening with the NSA, look at what's happening in the economy. We're going to look at the police state, a big stack of news on that front, some other audio clips we're going to be playing. And we're going to look at the head of the NSA being questioned on 60 Minutes, uh, having to get permission from someone else uh, to be able to answer a question just to show how the shadow government operates. And then we're going to go over a bunch of other news articles that have just broken on Infowars.com. BitTorrent Torture, Denmark sets example with Pirate Bay co-founder. Also, Pennsylvania coerced into giving cheek swab at voluntary checkpoints which aren't really voluntary. Corporate socialism, GM says no way it will pay back 10 billion. They're moving to China anyways. Your money paid to do it, suckers, as they say. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.